Do you want to live longer? Well, rapamycin could potentially help you do just that. So in this video, we're going to be looking at what rapamycin is, how rapamycin works to increase lifespan, and whether or not rapamycin is safe. But first, g'day legends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Jesse Crow, and I'm the Travelling Scientist, currently living here in Melbourne, Australia. And on this channel, we explore scientific techniques and ideas to help you live a smarter, happier, and healthier life. So what is rapamycin? Also known as Sirolimus and Rapamune, rapamycin is a macrolide, a type of antibiotic that's used as an immunosuppressant, so it suppresses the immune system. Wait, 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 that sounds bad. No, 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 rapamycin is used during organ transplants to calm down the immune system so it doesn't reject the new organ and, you know, kill you. But we're not talking about organ transplants here, we're talking about living longer. So how can something that suppresses the immune system help to increase lifespan? Well, let's look at how rapamycin works. Rapamycin works by targeting a molecule in the body called mTOR, which literally stands for mammalian target of rapamycin. Real creative guys, real nice. mTOR is an enzyme that's responsible for many different functions within the body, but essentially it's responsible for cell growth and proliferation. And usually cell growth is a good thing, building up and repairing the body, but sometimes it goes bad. Like when mTOR promotes the growth and proliferation of cancer cells. It's times like this when we can use a drug like rapamycin, which inhibits mTOR to suppress the growth and proliferation of unwanted cells, helping you to stay healthy for longer. Furthermore, when mTOR is inhibited and cell growth is halted, the body thinks it's being starved, which stimulates autophagy. And autophagy literally translates to self-eating. This is when your cells start to degrade and recycle their components, basically renewing old and dysfunctional cells. And this renewal boosts your overall health and essentially reverses the signs of aging. And all of this can be stimulated by taking a low dose of rapamycin. So let's look at the rapamycin longevity studies. Rapamycin has been shown to increase lifespan in yeast, worms, flies, and in 2009, scientists fed rapamycin to a bunch of old mice, and it increased their lifespan by 10 to 15 percent on average. Now, 10 to 15 percent might not sound like much, but imagine if your life was increased by 10 percent. That's several more years of life. Since the initial 2009 study, there have been over 30 other large-scale trials all agreeing that rapamycin indeed helps mice to live significantly longer. And currently, rapamycin is also being tested in dogs and marmosets, and the results are looking promising, but whether or not this would translate into humans, we're just not sure yet. Studies have also shown that rapamycin can improve heart function, and rapamycin can reduce neurodegenerative diseases, boosting cognition. So basically, rapamycin can slow and even reverse aging in the heart and in the brain. And this is why we believe that rapamycin could potentially be used to help humans live longer. One final thing to note about these studies is that rapamycin seems to work the same, regardless of whether it's given to young or old animals. So you don't necessarily need to be young to reap the benefits of this drug. But is rapamycin safe? Rapamycin is well tolerated in humans, but there can be some side effects. One of them is hyperglycemia, which can increase your risk of suffering from diabetes. So if you were taking rapamycin, you'd want to be monitoring your blood glucose and eating a healthy diet to mitigate that risk. Another side effect is hypercholesterolemia. I'd never heard of this before, but it makes sense. Rapamycin can boost your cholesterol. So this could be countered, again, by having a healthy diet, maybe some exercise. Also, rapamycin can cause ulceration of the mouth. So that's something to look out for. And obviously, taking rapamycin at a high dose can cause immunosuppression and reduce your blood cell count. But that's at a much higher dose than you should be taking for the longevity benefits of rapamycin. So as long as you take a low controlled dose of rapamycin, you shouldn't need to worry about this negative side effect. And also, studies have shown that rapamycin isn't always necessarily immunosuppressive. Rapamycin has been shown to boost your immune system in certain scenarios. So rapamycin should really be considered as an immunomodulator, something that can positively or negatively affect your immune system. And one last thing I feel like I should mention is that as well as the 30 plus large scale trials proving that rapamycin increased lifespan in mice, there was also three trials in which rapamycin actually decreased lifespan in mice. So it's not always a miracle drug. Should you take rapamycin to live longer? Rapamycin is approved by the FDA for use in humans. 
for organ transplantation and the treatment of certain cancers, but it is not currently approved for the purpose of living longer. And therefore a doctor shouldn't prescribe rapamycin for longevity. That doesn't mean they can't, it just means they probably won't. Looking at the research, I think that rapamycin seems very promising, and I personally believe that people will be using this drug to increase their lifespan in the future. But I'm not a doctor, and I can't help you get rapamycin. There are doctors out there that could help you get it, but you need to do your own research and talk with your doctor about it before you go experimenting with your own life. Anyway, that's all for today, Legends. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or opinions about rapamycin, let us know in the comment section down below. And next week's video is going to be all about spermidine, which has similar life-extending properties to rapamycin, but it's totally legal and you can get it right now. So make sure you subscribe for that video, and I'll catch you in the next one, Legends. Cheers.